Damn, I almost want to take some time and farm some members. <laughs> no, we have to meet the best character in the Singularity. Alright, time to meet the best character in the Singularity. Let's go. Hey. Well, eventually. <laughs> He's laughing at my luck. Welcome back, splendid heroes. And you, shameless goddess who came back with them. Tell me how it feels to have joined my army. Nobody joined your army, you idiot. I, the wise and farsighted goddess Ishtar, have simply entered the business partnership with Stardust. Just you wait. This one's going to be an amazing master. And until then, I'll bring him back to life, even if he dies or explodes. <laughs> There's no need to say who the real winner is here. And when that happens, this is what you'll be screaming. Oh, Ishtar, you truly are the goddess of victory. I am so very, very ashamed. Guess I'll have to kill myself. <laughs> I'm not going to die, you fool. I even liberated Iana, your resting place, and you haven't repented at all. Of course I haven't. I'm actually really mad. Iana was mine to begin with. Oh, so why'd you steal it? Oh, I knew I shouldn't have come. Please, both of you, stop. Patron deity appears before us. For a priestess such as myself, there's no greater honor. Let us forget about the damage report from the farmers as well as the other things and celebrate her return. You heard her, Ishtar. The high priestess says so. <laughs> Can't be bossy around Sturi. She's the most faithful of the Uruks and the ideal priestess. Looks like Ishtar isn't able to push uh, to push the Duri around. From the looks of things, maybe King Gilgamesh and Ishtar will be able to work together. Well, whatever. We can deal with rehabilitating you later. We have more pressing issues. Yeah, probably go and meet her head on. That's right! Now that we know Gorgon is an incarnation of Tiama, we have a powerful weapon at our disposal. The axe of the god Marduk ripped open Tiamat's throat, still kept within Eridu. This axe will be key, the key to defeating Gorgon. Eridu, the first city in Sumerian mythology, where the divine right to rule was given. Beyond the horizon, oh. Yeah, I think that sounds right. I've mentally been calling him. <laughs> yeah. I told you, there's an order in which to defeat the goddesses. First Ishtar, then the one in the south, then the one in the north. How about it, Ishtar? I bet you know who the goddess of the jungle really is. Many of the heroes I've summoned so far have gone into the jungle trying to learn exactly that. None have returned. Only a very powerful divine spirit could defeat such servants. <laughs> Good, so it's not Jaguar Warrior. We can just ignore her then? Personally, I'm relieved. After all, if she were one of the three goddesses, I have no idea how to deal with her. I'm curious about Jaguar Warrior, but talk about her later. So, what is the true name of the goddess of the jungle? Well, I guess I could tell you that. The goddess of the Holds Dominion over the south is the Winged Snake, a fellow goddess of Venus and the great bird of the sun, the wind of Mesomer Mesoamerica, Quetzalcoatl. Quetzalcoatl? The conquering king of the Mayans? The Toltec sun god? That's Demiurge Caliber! She might even be more powerful than Gorgon. Wait, why was a Quetzalcoatl male? Anyway, why is she a goddess? <laughs> eh, we can ignore that. Quetzalcoatl, I've known Quetzalcoatl more as a female in most modern media anyway. That's, I, I don't know if that's sad or like, I don't know, it's probably sad. That's right, humans wouldn't know. The place you call Mexico, the region of Mesoamerica that is, is a very different mythology. Her gods are said to be not from this planet, but to have come from the sky. When an asteroid collided with Earth, something that came with it survived and infected the plants. Eventually, it became a microscopic organism that changed the local animals into gods and built that area's civilization. The deities of Mesoamerica moved from one human to another. One of those vessels was probably a female. Th thank you for that incredible information, goddess. There's still so much about Earth we don't know. What's is either possessing a woman or was made... Uh, made a woman on manifestation because of her association with Venus. Okay. Uh, Quetzalcoatl. Mm, with human history incinerated, I can't see the future of this Mesoamerica you're talking about. Dr. Roman, gather information on this goddess. 
I know nothing of any deities who were able to come back to life in the AD era. Hmm. That sounds great. That's, that felt like an earthquake. Oh, no, 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 no. Southgate has been annihilated. They're requesting reinforcements. An enemy attack. What were the lookouts doing? How could they miss a horde of demonic beasts? They say it's a single enemy. A woman calling herself Quetzalcoatl has destroyed the gate with her bare hands and entered a rook. She's heading straight for the ziggurat. Oh, well, she came to us. All right. Yeah, basically. It's, uh... Oh, okay, okay. That makes two servants now. They're like, yeah, they were supposed to be a girl, but uh, different dimensions, takeovers. Uh, don't worry about it. Well, then that means time to uh, meet Quetzal. Ooh, I want to use, I want to use her. I want to use her bad. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, that'll be work better. Um, let's go ahead and give you the lunch time, and then we can focus on sending these into the our assassins. Don't know how much we're gonna have to do damage wise to her, or if we're gonna have to beat her, but we're gonna have to focus on it regardless. So, let's jump right in. Musashi is legit from an alternate universe, and normal fate Musashi. So, I was like, oh yeah, I, I remember you told me about that. I'm glad that the regular Masashi does show up at some point. Get the citizens out of here now! She's coming! She's charging in! Spearmen, form up in three rows. Ten soldiers won't hold. Attack with thirty. You in the rear. Press forward. We're going to force her back with everything we have. Urgh! We'll put an end to your killing spree right here. Well, so much for that. Hmm, you caught spirit. This isn't a tag team match, no? I said one at a time, no? Naughty kids who can't wait their turn. Hmm, what to do? I know, I'll jug you till you cool off. Okay, uno, dos, tres. Impossible, she's tossing the soldiers about like toys. Oh no, that's too high. She's throwing them too high. They're gonna, no! Ooh. Ugh. Well, that sucks. Oh my, you're terrible at Planka. Nah. Palanta. It's also terrible at landing. You won't be top tier luchadores like that, you know. Let's see. In Lucha Libre, it's important for both the attacker and the defender to nimbly break a fall. Got that, Ninos? Before you learn any techniques to defeat others, you must learn to protect yourself. If you can't do that, then you're no match for me, no matter how many of you there are. No good. Everyone retreat. We're no match for her. She kind of just chucked you in the air and that was <laughs> that was the end of your defense. Until then, do as she requests. You said you won't complain if you go one-on-one, -on -one, yes? Claro. Try to pin for me. <laughs> pin me for a three count, yes? Hey, we need, uh, we need to beat the one. Over there. Oh, look out. Oh. How unfortunate. You're so tiny. Muy pequeña. I can't actually. Ugh. Oh Jesus! Get out of the way! Yeah. Hi there. Wow. Get the scene. Ah, I don't know Spanish. Okay. Uh, Technica. Technica. Yeah, probably Technica. What an amazing aerial attack! I'll give you forty points. Yes. But you stole my opponent. So rude. Yes. That match wasn't decided yet. No. Interfering with a luchador match is against the rules. Hmm, so that means... Oh, no, 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 no. That was our fault, wasn't it? The penalty will be my 100 meter ring out. Adios, muchachos. Oh, God. Mash, catch him! Alright. Oh, nice. Good job, Anna. Good job. Hurry and retreat. We'll take care of the rest. Yeah, thanks. We'll leave it to you, cutie. 
Hmm. Is that against the rules for someone to show up and catch a falling witch door? I think it is. But if the audience loves it, I guess it's okay. After all, we don't fight to kill our opponents. We fight to give encourage to the people. Anyway, are you my next opponents? Good, you've got some pep! I'll fight each and every one of you until your hearts give out. <laughs> so that's the Mesoamerican goddess Quetzalcoatl. <laughs> you know, it's kind of annoying that since they can... What? Oh, it's kind of annoying that since they can do accents. They put a uh, C instead. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you're completely right. You're completely right. They're doing it for like, you know... Yeah, C means if and then C means... It's... I didn't think about that. <laughs> That's actually really funny. She isn't hesitating to kill. It's insane. I don't know what to do. She's killing people? And talk later. She's coming. Your enemy is the highest ranking divine spirit there is. A true goddess. She's not like Gorgon who used the Holy Grail to become a goddess. Nor a pseudo-servant like Ishtar. Everyone, proceed with the utmost caution. Staying alive is more important than defeating her. I don't know. <laughs> they have the, the accent marks for like the ones that matter for like pronunciation, like Nino and stuff like that. But it's like, nah, we can't put it for the C. So uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> Behold, the true best goddess of Babylonia. <laughs> the true best goddess in fate currently. I think. Exactly. I think. <laughs> trying to think if there are any other goddesses that I like more. Her rush is pretty good. I like a rush. Yeah. yeah, she's cool, but Ketz is so hilarious. I I can't. Mm -hmm. I actually can't not love that character. Hmm. Yes. Unfortunately, I can't pull for her. You, yeah, you same. <laughs> Such is life. Mm -hmm. I want one. I want like 20. Desperately reaches out to my credit card. <laughs> also, like the in like yesterday when I was on the fate uh Wiki looking up all the- I was looking at her final ascension art, and it is freaking amazing. I love Quetzalcoatl's art. Like, her regular art, like, amazing as well, but then her final ascension art, it's like, what the hell? Mm. It's so good. Have I ever told you guys how much I love Aoyuki? <laughs> That's a lot of health. Do we actually have to beat her? Ow. I don't think so. You don't Not have to. Not in this uh. round, at least. All right. So eventually. Yeah. That should be pretty much expected. Though, I like that how that attack is just for just jumping onto somebody's head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is great. Ow. 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 Well, I got the one that mattered. Yeah, she does, like, scary damage. Yeah, even with a uh, class disadvantage. Also, she has all damage from neutral and evil servants. that literally take zero damage from good servants. Oh. I guess it's a good thing that all these people are not good servants. <laughs> yeah. She takes full damage from, like, three people. Hmm. Berserker, Lancelot, Hercules, and I think Summer Tamamo. And Nero Bride. Those are the four servants who deal, like, full damage to her, I'm pretty sure. Really? 
right. Hmm. Oh, really? That's okay. So the summer servants will be good. Uh, Only summer Tamamo, I think, has the actual summer alignment. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Like, what a I'm, I'm gonna, dink. <laughs> I'll check all the summer servants out of it. I know Skathak Skath doesn't. I know that for a fact. Because, uh... Kinda used her for mine, and she didn't. Yeah, Tamamo is neutral summer. Arturia, no. Why would you use Marie? Because she's the caster against the rider anyway. So the play nope. is to wait two years nope. so you can do full damage and actually do this fight. Easy. Yeah, I believe the in you. The only one would be Summer Tamamo. That would do full damage of the summer unit. Hey! You do, you do have know. Umu Bride, so she would also deal full damage. That since her true. alignment is Bride. Yeah. <laughs> and then Lancelot and Berserker Lancelot and Herc. Okay. Well, <laughs> good job, team. <laughs> mm, I don't like that. Oh my god. Oh my god, I do. I think I know what you fight here, but I'm not saying shit. <laughs> I forgot what you fight here. Something so like nine that, yeah. servants in the game. Hey, probably better. I don't know what I was trying to go for there. I just sort of was I saying have to reach. something. I that. have to reach. <laughs> I was sort of just like saying something without a goal in mind. Mm -hmm. You know how it be. Alright. Give. You can take. Limit zero over. You can take. Formal craft. And uh, I think we're good. So nine seven. <laughs> Remember all of them. Hey, maybe you looked up. I don't know. Our attacks aren't doing anything. Seems she possesses some kind of special skill. Oh, are you guys servants? And is that cutie over there the master from elsewhere? Indeed, that's... Thanks for giving away my position, asshole. I know it's late, but I'd like to confirm your Quetzalcoatl from the Three Goddess Alliance. Claro que sí. Claro sí. Claro que sí. I can speak Spanish with the best of them. I'm the big sister who came all the way from Mesoamerica to destroy a rook a little, yes? Why do such a thing? Why'd you clam up like that? That shouldn't be a difficult question. <laughs> you, master of Caldea, right time, so I was just a little surprised, yes? Disciplined, righteous, and earnest. I hit all my buttons, so much so you deserve a penalty. If Stardust will marry me, I don't mind being on your side. Hey, I'm good. I'm good with that. I'm 100% good with that. Let's go ahead and... Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. <laughs> I know. After all, this would be a bit childish. Goddess-ish, <laughs> goddess but childish. Now, why destroy a rook? I'll at least answer that question. It's because we were called over by mother to kill humans. That's okay. That is perfectly okay. But how do I do so is up to me, no? It'd be boring just to drop the sun and burn everything, no? Yes, I want to have fun. I don't want to fight out of the hatred, so... I decided that no matter what, who I'm against, I'll kill them one by one. That's how I'll eradicate humanity, yeah? <laughs> Dios mio, the lucha wrestling. See, <laughs> si. Hey, there it is. Happy now, Glace? 
so I won't use my authority as a goddess, because that tires me out. Objection! Great Goddess Quetzalcoatl, I'd like to point out that you used your authority in our battle. <laughs> yeah, that's cheating! I'm cheating. <laughs> Being scolded by a younger master is a first. Make me blush. But you need a trial like this, so just going easy won't help anyone grow. That's how you learn, yes? Humans are like that, yes? So she wants you to find her weakness during the fight. No matter what we do, that divinity is... Oh, relax! See, I'm going back soon, yes? I am only fighting 100 people a day. Any more than that, and I start forgetting my opponents. I don't want to make my fighting a chore, no. Death matches should always be the highest quality. So everyone, adios! I'll be back tomorrow at dawn to kill another hundred of you. I think Mash would try and put a stop to it before anything happens. Possibly death. <laughs> hmm. I don't. I think Goodow could keep it up with her in bed. I don't think. Oh. Damn. Mash. Yeah, probably Meb. Are you safe now? I no. I see another pro. Oh no. Oof. 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 Sheesh. Who works Jaguar so hard? Transporting warriors she knocked out? Why is she making her beast her best friend do this? That ludicrous guys! Mystery serpent, Jaguar Warrior! Hey guys, it's been a while. Hold on a sec, I'm working right now. Jaguar Warrior is stacking all the fallen soldiers one after another into the cargo sled. I'm gonna take him away! Master, we need to stop her! <laughs> Knew something was pouncing around her. Yeah, stop it right there, Jaguar Warrior. Oh, stop and leave the goods. I will not know. That's not how this world works. Reality is harsh, you know. <laughs> oh, Cuckoo is ruthless. She never holds anything back when she punches me. So, do you really think such a cold blooded bird would forget to assign bodyguards for a mission this important? Oh, I guess she did. So the forest friends that I cherry picked will protect me. To me, the great jaguar underlings. Great. Whew. Look at these sturdy jaguar underlings. Boys and girls, we're not letting you sleep tonight. Well, I'm going home and drinking a tequila sunset while I'll eat a crocodile. I'll leave the rest of you guys. Jaguar headed warriors are attacking. Master, you God, she's such a fucking goon. Oh, hey, reset. <laughs> I love that one choice where you could just say Dios mio for Luchado. Yeah. Reset. Oh, yeah, reset. How many of that put me up to? Oh, boy, the reset. 42. But yeah, uh, Kets is great. Kets is great. I, I feel like we haven't stated that enough. So, <laughs> there no, we go. No, Rock Singularity! Hey, Camelot! How's it going? Bye, Camelot! Oh, welcome back to Camelot. <laughs> this is so sad. <laughs> oh, fuck! We need to get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, actually. How many golden apples uh, are they gonna give us? I think they're giving us... I don't remember how many. Uh, they give, like, in total 30, I think it was. A lot. Actually, let's take a look at her skill. Oh god, it's... It's an extra class servant, so I'm gonna have fucking dumb requirements. Bones! <laughs> Chains! Oh, serpent jewels. Guess it's a good thing that they drop actually quite a bit in this node. 
Or not in this node, but oh, I don't have those. The poison pins. Alright, <laughs> sorry, got uh, got kicked out because, you know, maintenance and all that, so, uh... <laughs> we're, we're back, we're back. <laughs> Alright, skip right to the battle. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm at 42 golden apples right now, which means guess who's going to be farming Barbados? <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> As a trick question. I'm so hyped for that. And basically just two weeks left till New Year. Mm. Hell yeah. Really nice. We're so close. Oh, we stop. I'm so happy. I'm to bully an assassin killer very hard. Yeah. Hey man, he deserves it. He's hoarding the pages and the gears that I've. And the hearts. The hearts. Hello? Yeah. Forget about those. <laughs> <laughs> I need to look what the other ones drop because that's the only that's the only one that I've actually been paying attention to because he's also kind of a meme. I know one of them drops uh, the freaking uh, golden horns that I off because I need fourteen of those to get Jalter's last skill up to where I need the hearts for them. Okay, I'm gonna look for someone with chaos. I need to find someone with a uh, chaos claws. Because and then my Jalter will have 10 10 10, so then you will have actually no excuse to not use her. But your CE is bad. I literally am using the drunk Jalter CE on her. Yeah. Team beer. Alpha drops horns. I don't think this will kill, but it's gonna do quite a bit. Maybe it will. It's, it. it's the Raikou. Orb. <laughs> Orb Tiddy. <laughs> Orb Tiddy. Oh, Floros drops Chaos Claws. Okay. This is getting out of hand. Now there are five pairs of Orb Tiddies on the screen. Eh. Raikou's an NP in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a lot simpler of a battle than I thought it was going to be. Well, duh, it was Jaguar Warriors' hand picked crew. <laughs> it was a question mark. Usually, when it's a question mark, things are rough. <laughs> I don't know, Jaguar Man's uh, hand-picked crew would be such chumps. Oh well, back to the cigarette. And another story only. I'm pretty far though. Oh boy, story only. That means it's time to mew. Hmm. Well, this is an altogether new problem. To think Quetzalcoatl would come barging in herself. What a nuisance. She keeps tearing up the city that'll affect morale on the demonic front. Craftsmen's and, uh, the craftsmen and soldiers have left the southern market. That's right, the king's little side project will. Side project? Hey, Gilgamesh, what are you making? No. Nothing. Siduri, must you be such a killjoy? What's the point of making a secret weapon if it's not being kept a secret? Ugh, this is all because of that insane goddess. Ishtar, she's one of yours. Make yourself useful. Do something about her. Hey, she's not one of mine. She's from a completely different culture. Think so? We're totally different. There aren't many muscle-headed goddesses like her. I don't even need the translation on that one. Well, there's no denying that she's a nuisance. 
I like the way she picks fights with humans one by one. She's got a weird idea of eradicating humanity, but I guess she'd call it integrity. And if she's coming tomorrow, that means she intends on killing 100 people every day. Yeah, exactly. 100 soldiers fell victim. Corpses were carried off, so we can't even bury them. Even if we wanted to fight, we're no match for her. Don't you have any plan of some sorts, Dr. Roman? You're asking me? You guys have Merlin over there! Use that clairvoyance or whatever and take a peek at what Quetzalcoatl is doing. I really like to do that, but I can't overuse my clairvoyance. I'm using my magical energy for other things right now. At any rate, she'll definitely pick up on it if I observe her. And as many of myth have shown, goddesses don't respond well to being picked on. Isn't that right, Ishtar? Yeah, I'd kill him. I'd use my authority, my noble phantasm, everything I have, and blast wherever the paper is to oblivion. See, I don't want to piss her off like that. I don't. And that's why I can't use my clairvoyance to check out that Quetzalcoatl. Let's see. You told me that earlier if you were restricting your clairvoyance. No wonder something seemed a bit off about you, Merlin. You've already done everything you could. I'm glad you understand. So, Romani Archman, what's your proposal? All right, I shall give my opinion on Caldea's operations uh, er, commander. Currently, there is no way to intercept Quetzalcoatl. That said, we aren't in any condition to leave her alone, which means we have to get proactive. If we strike at Quetzalcoatl's home base, or originally, originally Quetzalcoatl was a goddess that had absolutely nothing to do with Sumer. So how is she demonstrating such high heightened divinity and authority? It must be because the temple dedicated to her worship was built somewhere. The other, the other day when Stardust went investigating Ur, there was a particularly strong magical energy response coming from the south. Even in the jungle full of mana, the response was so strong you knew it was special. That must be Eridu, the city that King Gilgamesh was talking about. If Quetzalcoatl is occupying that city, we can assume that she has created a temple in her name there. To establish a temple, you need a symbol that represents the deity. Quetzalcoatl is said to possess two treasures, the Jade Sword Makana and the Sun's Pilgrimage, Piedra de Sol. Either of those would certainly work to establish her place of worship, so destroy the symbol, remove the temple's power, and diminish Quetzalcoatl's divinity. Exactly, Anna. After that, if we face Quetzalcoatl, there is at least a small chance of victory. And with Ishtar's help, we'd be more than a match for her. Oh, you're relying on me? I don't want to fight other goddesses, but if it's Stardust requests, then I have no choice. Of course, it was a certain useless king asking. I just have laughed myself silly and refused. <laughs> oh my god. He totally sees through her. There's no way Ishtar can win this one. I guess it's settled then. Stardust, I have a new mission for you. I authorize the second stage of our goddess extermination plan. Go through the jungle and head to Eridu. There, defeat Quetzalcoatl and also recover the divine tool stored in Eridu. Retrieve Marduk's axe, the weapon that killed the goddess Tiama. Two days to reach Eridu, four days round trip. Hurry, as soon as you return, we'll start preparations for the battle with Gorgon. And that'll put us at like either three or, oh god. Then for a four day round trip, that'll put us at two days until Gorgon's arrival. That's very, very slim on the time. Oh well. Then, onwards. I guess we're gonna be leaving to... Where do? Hmm. Let me check something real quick before I get... Oh. Alright. Then I think I'll do. I think I'll do that. Let's start on chapter 12. Actually, we're gonna take a real quick break. Just so I can. Uh, I wanna get something to eat because I'm actually getting super hungry. So, we'll be right back, guys. And when we do, we'll chapter. We'll uh, tackle chapter 7.